AirPods 3 are an amazing set of earbuds, but these Liberty 3 Pros from Soundcore, I think are on another level. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why. How's it going y'all? It is Ben Aqua and welcome to the house of Aqua. So full disclosure, Anchor slash Soundcore did send me the Liberty 3 Pros to check out, but they did not pay me to say anything. All these opinions are mine. For 169, I think these are an incredible deal and I will leave links to buy this in the description below because I highly recommend the Liberty 3 Pro. In the end, these were just more my vibe and they have a lot more features and stuff. We're gonna talk about all that today. So if that sounds spicy to you, smash the like button below and subscribe if you're not already and let's get right into it. So first let's talk about design because you can see they both have a lot of differences. Let's talk about the AirPods 3. These have a very familiar shell, right? Like this looks basically exactly like the AirPods Pro except without the silicone tip. But yeah, it's a very iconic design. It's obviously an Apple design. It feels very sturdy. One thing that's getting a little old to me is using this lightning connector. Lightning works, you know, it's fine, but I would rather have USB-C. But these do support wireless charging and they actually have MagSafe so you can throw them on a MagSafe charger. One of the things that definitely concerns me about the AirPods AirPods cases is while they are a beautiful design, it's a little hard to see, but this thing gets scratched up like crazy. Like this thing gathered so much scratches just after the first day of using this. And this has been an issue that has plagued AirPods cases for such a long time. But let's talk about the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pros though, because they made some nice adjustments to these headphones compared to the Liberty 2 Pro, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm so glad that they didn't get rid of the mechanism where you slide the case open to see the headphones because I think that's so iconic. I still love this sliding design and I can just seriously just do this all day as like a fidget toy. These actually have USB-C and the case also has this nice kind of matte finish, but this is also slippery as hell. This is really easy to just drop and like fall out of your pocket if you're wearing gym shorts or something. But look how cool these Liberty 3 Pros look. They almost look like some kind of pod from the Matrix or something. And the buds are actually smaller than the Liberty 2 Pro, which I really, really like. And when it comes to design, I actually prefer the Liberty 3 Pro just cause it's different, you know? Like I'm just getting a little bit bored of these designs, these certain things from Apple that are just like rehashed over and over and over again. I also like the magnets in the Liberty 3 Pro and it just kind of snaps in there, you know, as you would expect. Charging starts, it has these nice LEDs and stuff. And they actually come with a ton of different tips and these little like wing things that you can try out that keep these in your ear easily. I've had so much more luck keeping the Liberty 3 Pros in my ear during heavy workouts, cardio, throwing my head around. The AirPods 3, on the other hand, will shift a lot in my ear. But there's something about this all plastic design that reminds me of why I didn't really like the OG AirPods that much when it comes to fit and comfort. Like when I put these in my ear, it feels like they're not ever fully in my ear. Like it just feels like they're always just sitting there just waiting to get knocked off. The Liberty 3 Pros are not perfectly comfortable either, but they do stay in my ear a lot more. The Liberty 3 Pros also have touch sensitivity instead of physical buttons. So when you tap on these, you know, it will change your track, adjust your volume, stuff like that. But when it comes to touch controls on the Liberty 3 Pro, I actually prefer to use like physical buttons over the touch mechanisms because on these Liberty 3 Pros, like when you tap these, like some of the time I'll tap these and nothing will happen. These touch controls can almost be too sensitive sometimes where I'll accidentally brush up against it and it'll make the volume a lot higher or something. So overall, I actually prefer the button like the squeeze buttons on the AirPods 3. So let's now talk about, whoa, see, I almost dropped it. Let's talk about features now. These are almost the same price. Actually, the AirPods 3 are $10 more expensive at $179 versus $169 for the Liberty 3 Pro. And for what you get at that price, the Liberty 3 Pro just has so many more features than the AirPods 3. And the big advantage of Liberty 3 Pro over the AirPods 3 is ANC, active noise cancellation. There's no ANC on AirPods 3, yeah, you know me. So not only do the Liberty 3 Pro have ANC, but they also have the latest Bluetooth version 5.2. The Liberty 3 Pro also has LDAC, which is a wireless high-res audio streaming format. Of course, you can't use that on Apple 
Apple devices because Apple doesn't support LDAC. But if you have an Android phone, I would definitely recommend the Liberty 3 Pro. But the biggest advantage to the AirPods 3 over the Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro is AirPods 3 has that pairing, that multi-device pairing. If you have a lot of Apple devices, the AirPods 3 are extremely convenient from just going from your phone to your laptop to your iPad. You just pop these open, stick them in your ear, and then pair them to the device. You don't have to open up Bluetooth settings or do anything crazy. It's just so convenient. The Liberty 3 Pro can also pair to multiple devices, but they limit it to just two devices at a time, which is pretty convenient if you're basically just using your earbuds with your phone and your laptop or something. So it's not as easy to connect to a bunch of different devices, but I think that's one of the compromises for all the other features that these have. Another huge advantage of the Liberty 3 Pro is you can use this app, which is just called Soundcore, to customize the crap out of these headphones. Like you can choose different types of ANC on these. There's a normal mode, there's a transparency mode. There's even different types of transparency modes where you can be fully transparent vocal mode or vocal enhancement beta. I didn't really hear a lot of difference between these and even just transparency mode for the Liberty 3 Pro actually kind of sucks. But on the Liberty 3 Pro, you can even change your EQ. So you can change it to a bunch of these presets that Soundcore made up. And a lot of them are not really my favorite in the world, but you can do a custom EQ down here where you can actually go through these little sliders and you know pick a frequency range, go up and down. Then you can even save your preset and stuff. I also love that you can change the controls because they're single tap, double tap, hold for two seconds, et cetera. And you can actually change what all these different types of taps and holds do. So I think what's missing the most from the AirPods 3 is any type of customization really that you can do on these. These do support spatial audio though, so if you're into that, you're probably gonna love the way these sound. But I personally am not a huge fan with listening to spatial audio in headphones. Like I tried it a bunch of times. I even made a video about it before and I just honestly have not been super impressed with spatial audio and even that spatialized stereo thing where you turn your head and you can like hear all kinds of echoey things in the side like it seems kind of gimmicky and I don't really use it at all. I prefer just the straight up sound on these without spatial audio. And I do wish you could customize the EQ and stuff in these. And that slides me into this next topic, which is sound quality. And again, that is where the Liberty 3 Pro, in my opinion, totally shines over the AirPods 3. I really, really wanted to love the AirPods 3, trust me. A lot of people were talking about how the sound quality is much improved, and that I can agree with. If you're used to the way the AirPods 2 sound, you're definitely gonna get better sound on the AirPods 3. You get a thicker bass, I think you get a slightly wider sound stage. I can hear some more details in the trebles, like it just sounds like a kind of more detailed sound. Vocals, I think in particular, sound really amazing on the AirPods 3. In fact, I think vocals sound better on AirPods 3, versus the Liberty 3 Pro. But where I think the sound quality on the AirPods 3 are kind of lacking for me is the bass is there, like it's thumping, but it's not like super overblown. And I guess that would appeal to some people who want kind of a more flat kind of frequency response out of their earbuds. But for me personally, this is the reason why I actually ended up returning the AirPods Pro as well. I got the AirPods Pro actually twice because I was like, I really want these to work. I really wanted to love those. I loved the ANC on those, but it was the sound quality that actually made me return the AirPods Pro twice. And the sound quality on the AirPods 3 just doesn't do it for me, y'all. There's something about its mid-focused kind of frequency emphasis where it focuses a little too much on the mids for my personal taste. It doesn't have that really deep sub thumpiness that I really, really love in my bass and the nice and sharp trebly details. Like they're there on here. They're just not very like pronounced and exciting. Exciting. But y'all, we need to talk about the sound quality on the Liberty 3 Pros because for me, these just are completely a different ball game than the AirPods 3. These are not meant to be flat. They're not meant to be subtle. These will punch you like directly in the face, but in the best way possible. That was a really weird way to describe that. I actually do really love the way these sound. The bass, y'all, the bass is ridiculous on these. You don't even have to tune the bass up on these at all. It's almost too much just in their flat profile, like what you get when you first open these up and listen to them. The mid lows on these are also pretty thumping. They're also very thick and very spacious sounding. The mids on these, I think leave some to be desired, at least right out of the box. And you may have seen in my graphic EQ, like where I actually bumped up a little bit in the mid area is because the vocals actually sound a little bit too subdued for me. When it comes to the trebles, 
though. These things are also just completely ridiculous. Like you get so much treble that I actually have to turn it down once in a while in the EQ because it can get a little crispy, a little too kind of tinny. But you know how I said that these AirPods 3 just weren't very exciting? The Liberty 3 Pro are exciting as hell. And that's the biggest reason why I love the Liberty 3 Pro over the AirPods 3 is this sound profile. It just has so much more thump and detail and interest and stereo width where it just makes it way more exciting and thrilling to listen to music. Because usually when I'm actually listening to my earbuds, it's at the gym when I need to get a little more pumped up to get my cardio on and not get bored. These really excite me. These are fun to listen to. The AirPods 3, when I put them on, it's kind of like, okay, this is pleasant. I don't want pleasant. I want challenge apparently. And the Liberty 3 Pros offer that. Like they give me that special, just something, something that just makes me want to use them more. Like the AirPods 3 are nice. They sound clean, but they just sound kind of safe to me. And when I want earbuds, I don't really want safe. I want to feel kind of like my ears are getting completely attacked. So anyway, leave your questions and comments below because I'm really curious to hear, do you prefer the Liberty 3 Pro versus the AirPods 3? So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please smash the like button and subscribe below. Also be sure to add me on Twitter and Instagram at B3N. A Q U A because I post a lot of like behind the scenes and fun pictures and that kind of stuff. And since you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching the entire damn thing. And I would like to personally invite you to my Discord channel where we are talking about Apple products and headphones and all kinds of other cool stuff. The link for my Discord is in the description below. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.